Hello, people of the internet. Welcome to this Civ 5 Gods and Kings gameplay. Let's play thingy. Well, um, I'm going to show you practically Gods and Kings itself and Civ 5. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Civ 5, I will put a whole about me down in the description, like about me, but it's game wise, so it's about the game. Um, I'll just sh quickly show you some stuff. So you've got scenarios like where this is like um, sort of Fall of Rome, where you have to be either barbarians, well sort of barbarians, or roam themselves, and yeah, all this stuff, uh, yeah, so you've got scenarios, but then you can actually set up your own game, like I was in just then, so there's multiple things here, I'm actually thinking of going Greece, no, actually, no, ugh, Hmm. I should really go offline. Um, the Celts. Uh. I'm actually going to be the Mongolians. <laughs> Uh, just because I can. <laughs> Advanced setup. Um, oh, delete. Oh, wait. Just go add AI. Adding multiple AIs is very fun. Uh, just random. Random. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go different team. So, team 12, in fact, just, I'll just delete all these, so that would be team 2. Delete. Why aren't you deleting? <laughs> delete. Alright, then add AI. They all go team 1, what the hell? Team 3. I might have an ally actually so I'll just put one guy and I'll choose who it is since I really like Dutch people I will be Dutch well with a Dutch friend um, so then team 5 team 6 team okay team 7 Then teammate. Actually, I'll give uh, England another person, and they can just be random. So we've got map size huge, twenty-four city states. Map, map type Earth chieftain. I'm not that good. Um, start game. So as I go through, you will see things. walls of cities, and your voice brings despair to your enemies. O Khan, you united the warring tribes of northern Asia into a mighty people, creating the greatest cavalry force the world has ever witnessed. Your people's cunning diplomacy divided their enemies, making them weak and helpless before Mongolia's conquering armies. In a few short years, your people's soldiers conquered most of China and eastern Asia, and the empire continued to grow until it reached west into Europe and south to Korea. Indeed, it was the greatest empire ever seen, dwarfing those pathetic conquests of the Romans or the Greeks. Imogen, your people call upon you once more for sweeping down from the steps. Will you build an empire that stands the test of time? 
So there you go, that was the intro thingy. Um, it's pretty awesome. Now all we really need to do is wait. See, as you heard from the intro, the little talky guy, uh, Mongolia actually have really good cavalry. As you can see, the Keshi archers are, I mean, I think they're lancers. So yeah, it will probably be a lot longer uh, loading now because I'm actually uploading my first Minecraft video um, for this channel. Alright, begin your journey. I'm gonna turn it down now. Okay, so. The settler, I'll wait for a bit. Because I need horses. We've already found ruins. This could be a very good truffle city. Ugh. Next turn. Ah! The Dutch people have sugar. Mm, loads of sugar. Which is always very good. They've settled their city. They've. dear. They have food and luxurious, luxurious things. Alright. I'm going to display a research info. Uh, barbarians take forever to take their turn. Oh, yes, Spearman. I'm actually going to try and get a naval city. Sort of like the Netherlands here. They've got a semi-navy, naval city. Because, one, it's by the river and it's got a coast and all that. We've got a river going to nowhere. Um, in fact, I'm going to settle a city right here. Getting all the truffles. <laughs> all the truffles will be mine. If I find horses, I'll instantly get a settler going. I have some information. Uh, I'm gonna get a worker. If this game doesn't crash, don't crash. Thank you. Actually, in fact, I'm gonna get a scout first. Then I'll get a worker. To get all the truffles. Excuse me. Wait, how do I get the truffles? Shh. Wait a second. Let's just put that out. Requires trapping. So, to get trapping, excuse me. I'm just gonna go research animal husbandry and then get trapping afterwards. I picked a fairly good spot because I will get loads and loads and loads of happiness from these uh, from these truffles. It's very good. It's very good mountains. Stone. Oh, the thing I didn't really check was was I in the desert. I'm in plains area, but then it gets to desert. So I'm very close to a very, very bad desert going in here. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Twenty culture. I can apparently adopt a thing. A policy. Next turn. Oh. Six four minutes. Woo! I adopt the policy. There we go.
Alright, going for honor because I want a very strong army. Yeah, I just really want a strongish army so I can own people up with them. With my stuff. So we're actually going for archery. It's very unfair for the other people. <laughs> Since we have two people, like me in England, have another teammate. I put it if I put it there then I'll get two copper and I could grow my borders just into this copper. And maybe into some silver. No, just missing out on the silver. Huh. Ah, elephants. Very similar to uh horses. Interesting. Get a monument going. See, scouts are very good for um this. Oh, more truffles I can grow into. Scouts are very good for scouting things because they uh you get extra. Bleh. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh oh, city stay and gold. Ooh. I swear, if Dutch people have uh, horseback, then, you know, I'm taking over their city, even though you can't do that, but okay. You can take over other teams' cities, but you can't take over your own teammates' cities, because practically you're working together, so you're like one. Uh-oh, I found the Swedish people. I was going to say the Swedes. Yes, we will. Right. Has he's met? Uh, it's every single time. There's a... Wait, what no, was that? Absolutely. Oh, crap. No, absolutely. He's going to settle cities near us and it's going to kill my culture. It's always very good to get your cities out very quickly. Like, get um, your cities going up, like, multiple settlers going up. <clears throat> Do I want to declare war on him? No. Oh, he's got some copper, so I think he's going to have a powerful army. As I said, every single time there's Swedish and Chinese people who have powerful as armies. It's very, very terrible. Head of it. It really sucks because you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get a good army, and then they're like, nah, nah, you're not. <laughs> I'll probably have the best happiness since, you know, look at my position. I've got four, five truffles near me, and then I can stretch out to one wheat. Maybe two wheat, actually. Two wheat. Just two wheat. Grab the candy. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox. Advanced technology. Oh, horses. Cool. Needed them. Wait a second. Purchase, purchase. 
500 gold, I'm definitely not going to... Oh, horses right next to me. I did not see that there. Oh, of course. That's, of course. So, we've got two horses near. Um, two horses... I'm just checking around to see if we have any horses like near Dutch, the Dutchland people, which we don't. Zurich. Hello, Zurich. Oh, it's obvious that we haven't met Zurich yet. No, we've met Zurich. Oh, he has gold and porcelain. Thank you. I will be your protector. <laughs> Take gold. No. I'm not that mean. I am pretty mean, but not that mean. Oh, cow. Cows and mm, oranges. Well, citrus. Oh, yeah, you can tell that someone's going to be a powerful army if they have copper, iron, and anything really to do with ores that you can use with fights. Because they're definitely going to have the most, the better army. We are pleased to meet you. We are pleased to meet you. Disgust. Go ahead. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, of course she gets Boudicca. Of course she gets the Celt. Darn it. I'm terrified of her. Um, hail foreign leader, I am Boudicca, or Boudicca, queen of the Celts, chosen of I'm not even going to pronounce that name because I'll just embarrass myself. In me lives the will of my people and soul of a king. Why blah be do, Ford? Goodbye. Oh, where's England then? Where have I met the English people? Ooh, that's a kilt. Where are the English? Where are the English? It seems very packed. You have met Cape Town. Oh, Cape Town sucks. They have no resources in this game. They don't suck in real life. I don't. I've never heard of Cape Town, but you know. Wait. Yes, I have. <laughs> of course. Oh God. I'm. By the way, I'm aiming these episodes for twenty minutes each, so I can just get them up easier. In fact, I'm gonna end this episode here. So, guys, actually, one one move, just to cover up the 15 seconds. Unit needs orders. Unit needs orders. <clears throat> anyway, guys, I'm going to end it here.
Uh, see ya. Later. Alligators. Boop.